Hey guys, this is Crap Hunter, and welcome back to Rome! Huzzah! Yes, this is Rome, and it is bloody hot today. Or at least on the day of recording, it's bloody hot. Um. Yes, it's been very hot today, and we are making some strides. In the last episode, we actually had some pretty Assassin awesome Wayne. things. Um. One of which was the defense of Medalonium once again. However. We are now we are now charging. We are now pushing our way towards Avencium in the north to try and push back the Gallic tribes. Um, the Gallic tribes once again are currently trying to. Um, I think are making a final attempt now at trying to retake the position. However, we are re 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 recruiting or re-equipping our men. So if we can take cover, it will be awesome. Um, down south, we've captured Carthage and Zama, though unfortunately the Zama people are being right dickheads. I should have exterminated them rather than... Um, I, I should have exterminated them rather than let them live, so... At your service, on so my look way. And the, Gaul the Carthaginians are here. I have discovered another Where little settlement um, over here, and I'm currently making my way via my diplomat, who hopefully won't die anytime soon. Yay! Yay! Brilliant. Um, so, once he gets along to this line and heads slowly towards Egypt and the Seleucid states, I can start improving my trade, because then I can actually start talking to them. Huzzah! Um, but apart from that, the war uh, rages ever onward. Um, no growth. I'm not surprised, but... Minus as well now. Snap. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Scriptorum. What is a scriptorum? Ah, uh, things like that. Right. Okay. How about this? Perfect health bonus. Might need to start building stuff. Right. So. Um, cavalry stain. We probably would do best to have something like an archery range. I said though, an arena. Thing is, arena um, is a good thing, but then it makes it a lot more expensive, so I'll probably have an aqueduct. And that's my fundage going. Right, so. Boiling there. So, the time is currently. Before we go on to it now, we are at 1657. There we go. Right, so just gonna go before 5 o'clock. So, 3, 2, 1, here we go. Ah, yes. And my spy currently up north is just scouting the terrain. Let's speed him up. Um, just to see what happens. The diplomats and other people are making their way. Um, the Gorlick army is approaching my commander. However, we do outnumber him by a small bit. And my men are fully up to strength. Which is nice. Okay, three, two, nine. Their army is built out of mostly war band, but they've got cavalry, and they've got damaged units, which is quite nice. But the rest are... This is actually quite cavalry strong. I've, I've noted that now, actually. They do have some heavy spearmen, though. I've not faced these guys before, but they are pretty impressive. What does it say? Superior impetus uh, may charge without orders. I'm assuming that... Um, ah, yes. So, right, okay. So, we are kind of tit for tat. The enemy has a good, strong force. However, I have a stronger force because I am Roman. And there it is. Um, there is also a bridge. So, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we could perhaps maybe take it to the bridge, defend it a bit. I don't know. It's possible that it doesn't do anything. But if the enemy are attacking... And I'm behind a bridge. I'm thumbing up because that means the enemy no, will have no choice. I carry on my body nope. Many great scars. There's the bridge Honorably right behind us, just just I out of reach. Okay. Well, we know what you're like. Um. Okay. Ah. Oh, 
bollocks. Did you see that? See that lovely road heading off into the distance there, where there's a sodding great bridge. Bloody hell, I wish I'd deployed on the sodding, um, sodding. The blasted, there we go. There's a river. We could have won this so easily. And what makes matters worse is we have to try and go uphill to nullify the enemy's army's potential. Because if I go down south, the enemy gain an advantage. They have us by the hip. Which is really frustrating. And that's the phone. One moment I will have to pause recording. And we're back. I do apologize for that. Uh, isn't it great when someone says, You're watching the phone or else? That's just handy. Anyway, nothing happened. I just didn't move. So, the enemy has us by the hip. Because, unfortunately, we do not have the ability to just stand there and watch him come over a bridge. So, instead, we must now rely on our trusty soldiers to hopefully annihilate the enemy opposition <laughs> as soon as humanly possible. Um, I will have two Triarii, obviously, on standby, just so that way we can defend. My mercenary as army as well must be prepared, otherwise we're going to end up suffering heavy casualties. So, there is my army. It is all deployed. We have very small cavalry numbers in comparison to theirs. But that said, the positive side is that the enemy forces are attacking. Um... I'm not really sure about whether or not we're going to be able to be effective in this battle. I mean, I hope we are, but I don't know. I mean, that's a crap ton of cavalry, you know? That's the largest cavalry formation I've seen, because not only do we have like one, two standard barbarian cavalry, no, three, sorry, three standard barbarian, oh, four, and, f ah, right, so four standard barbarian cavalry and two night raider cavalry. Not only that, we've also got one and two generals, plus a contingent of strong spearmen. Now, of course, these guys are probably not going to be lasting as long under heavy fire. They do have archers, which is a major pain in the ass, because now we are equal in firing terms. But we hold a slight advantage on the hill, which I didn't notice until now. Look at old ruin of a place. Really? Did, did they even then have ruins? I suppose it makes sense. But anyway, where's my where's the path? Well there's the pathway into Right, there's the road, I believe. Yes, so the Gauls yes, my army is currently heading this way, I think. Or at least it's heading that way, down along that path. No, it's heading this way, I remember now. Yes, it's heading along this path, going into those mountains and going to attack, and the Gorlick army is here. So, this is quite interesting. I mean, it's going to take them time to advance, and I'm not going to advance. And I'd love it if they decided to just charge. Not the cavalry, obviously, just the infantry. I just want them to run. So yes, priority targets for this ma battle are not enemy generals, I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm going to put the thought out of my mind. No enemy generals this time. Just survive, because obviously this army is intended on capturing Avencium, which can easily do it, but we have to fight against numerous armies to attack, and I personally do not wish to put my army in that respect. However, the army that we have here is built up of fine reserves of infantry. All of them have starty, I agree, not them as strong as previous armies. Um, or current armies, but they will do the job and they will go down fighting if necessary. Just get my general out of there before all shit breaks down. Anyhow, um, so basically, currently going on, hang on. Okay, what I'm going to do now is going to cut recording and then um, when I when the enemy gets closer to the base, then I'll make sure to um, get back, get into the action part. And we're back. So, our enemy counterparts has done a very interesting formation. Um, which actually kind of is the same kind of stuff I would have done. Which is, they piled up all of their cavalry behind the enemy and behind the infantry. And possibly with their cavalry, they're going to try and outflank us. For some reason, they're still going forward, despite... Right, you guys are not 
Use flames, target that heavy spearman. I don't know whether you guys can actually hit them, but... I've not really dealt with many cavalry forces. I'll be honest with you, I'm not really skilled at it, but... Set fire to those guys. That's good. Oh my god, they're getting spammed a bit. Okay, cease fire on your maneuver. Oh, you're in range anyhow. Good. This will probably cause problems, so I need to remember that those guys are currently outside. Their cavalry is doing something, but whilst their cavalry is doing nothing, I'm going to be taking full advantage. There's their archers. There's their archers. No, that's a missile. Where are their archers? Where's another unit? Where is their archers? Where are their archers? I saw a unit of archers. You saw a unit of archers, so... They're still coming close. They're almost within spear range. They, there are the Forest of Warband. Right, concentrate fire on the Forest of Warband. They are getting ridiculously close now. Right, you guys... Seriously? They're too close. They're charging. Right, okay, fall back. And you guys run that way. Oh, shit. Right, swing round. Cavalry right. No one's attacking on the, the far right hand side. Right, I'm going to put you guys on the flanks. Move up along those guys. You guys concentrate fire on Barbarian Cav. You guys are getting pummeled. Right, swing around to flank and engage. Right, move. You. Move, move, move. You guys engage them. You. You. Right. It's actually kind of well timed, isn't it? We're currently beating them back at the moment, but this could turn any other way. Triarii, go that way, because you guys are kicking ass, taking names, and royally sick sucking it to the man. Right. Enemy cavalry may attempt to flee. They haven't tried anything so far. Where are the enemy cavalry? Oh, they're right here. Enemy cavalry are charging towards your spear's flank. Hey! And now his men fear us. Oh, brilliant! We actually knocked out one of their generals as well. Catch that general! Catch that general! Really catch that general! We've actually done it. I didn't think we could do it. Dude, catch the general! Don't just go sideways, go actually charge and take that general's... Right, move to flank. Game is pretty much up for them. What are you doing, Triarii? Seriously? Are they withdrawing? Are they, not there? are they withdrawing? It would appear to be that they are withdrawing. Oh, you're catching them, catching them, catching them, catching them. Run them down to the ground. Ah, it's lovely when you see that. Right, uh, you, you got their cavalry at least. Calva ca cavalry are... Yes, we got him. Both generals, we got him. Right, knock their archers out. I do not need archers. Really do not need archers. Awesome, two generals. Verminish of Sylvia and Ambroix. Fan-bloody-tastic. I don't care how many infantry get away. Brilliant. Actually, I do kind of care. Right, infant cavalry, go knock them out. What are you doing? Oh, you're throwing your spears at them. Fair enough. You're annihilating a fair amount of them. How many dudes do they have left? 20. Those guys are kind of screwed. Splat, 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 splat. They're gone. Yeah, most of the enemy forces are completely um, knocked out now. There's only a small contingent of cavalry retreating. Um... Uh, Oh, cool. God be praised! The enemy's hearts are full of fear, and now they flee. 
Um, I will get you to attack. Oh, shit! Heavy spearmen. Shit. Too late. Okay, well, no. 22 men are more easily uh, acquaint accounted for in archers. Because we've got loads of archers still. Um, okay, everybody except the cavalry. Halt your actions. Um, just move forward now and annihilate the last of those Forester Warband. Yeah. Oh, technically we could have gone for the spearmen, but I don't think that would have mattered too much. We are annihilating the archers, though. I used to have a priority. There's, there's a priority list when it comes to stuff like that. One, one of which is ar archers. It used to be archers all the time, but now I'm kind of prioritizing heavy infantry. But that said, they are now down to 22 from wherever they were. So, well, these this is like one more dude. So we'll pull out that one. Rome demands victory uh, from her generals, and this day is clearly our victory. It's a good victory, and I'm very happy about that. But 220 men is a loss which I wouldn't personally like. I want those guys. Where have you gone, Romans? Seriously. Victory! Just be sipping on my tea. <laughs> and another guy goes beach gazing. Right. Okay. Okay, let's go back to Carthage, which is currently being held up by someone. And that's a very tiny... Writing, construction report. Seriously, they don't like it. Construction. There is nothing I can do. Um, okay, so not very profitable this turn. Faction announcements. Garrulus Mercanus or Mercurinus, I'm assuming that's him. Yes, it General. is. Um, recruitment report. We have retrained and re-equipped our soldiers at Medalonium, which is awesome. Um, my assassin is currently at position. The enemy aren't actually attacking, which is really nice. But what is a bit concerning is that are they going to be coming up north? No, they're not. This is very reassuring news. Right, I'm just going to put... Oh, there's their army. It's fully equipped now as well. Shit. That's a big-ass army as well. And all I've got over here is just some... It's just some dudes. They're just standing about like, Yeah, yeah, we're Rome. Right. Um, can I put a guard tower anywhere that's close to within my movement range? Okay, I'm going to assume I can... Oh, that's not looking good. Build tower. Get back inside. Oh, you Sir. git. Of course you wouldn't be inside. That said, though, I am literally just outside. So if the enemy do attempt to attack, we will be okay. Um, we are rebuilding lots of things. And at Medalonium, we have built another building, which is great. Uh, I'm going to build a f low tax rate. Uh, possibly need to... Yeah, we'll, we are rebuilding and reconstructing. Okay, I'll look at that and leave it be for the moment, because I know there are other places which actually could do with being constructed, but because of either financial problems or... or, or, or we are not actually allowed to build them. Um, I am going to build some... Let's have a look-see. Right, Aretium is there. A large wall is being built at um, Aretium. What about Arminium? Can we build anything? Ooh, we could build up... Um, oh, does that mean high tax rate? Uh, well, actually, that's possible now. We can actually put higher tax rate, which is quite nice. Um, I'm going to construct... Oh, look, a great forum. This is brilliant. Um, I am going to build an army base. Oh, because that, they're constructing that, so don't bother. Um, large... I kind of wish this thing would help me out in a sense. Trade fleets. It's not a bad idea actually. And we need to head down south anyhow, because I think my dude has been able to he's been standing there for like a turn, so I need to make up for lost time. Ah, ah. Is that the borderline between No, that's the borderline. I think I'm coming up on the borderline. I don't know. Well look, a Numidian army has taken over No Carthaginian. Numidian army's coming over to take out um 
Hadramentum, which is quite nice. Fleet ready. There's another army up there. Our forces at Carthage are actually quite happy. Oh, we can put a higher tax rate. <laughs> no, we can't. Um, uh, we could totally do with some cash right about now, don't we? 75 is good. Low tax rate is really... Oh, come on. Daily. Daily. Because then, then we could do normal tax rate. But no. Monthly. Monthly. Because if we do month daily, we're like that. Whereas yearly is like that. Whereas monthly isn't so bad. So we'll go that way. And perhaps in the process we will construct another unit of archers. Because you know what? There isn't enough archers. Um, at Zama people are fighting over a ridiculous amount. The Scipii are actually doing quite a good job in attacking. The Brutii for some reason still haven't really made much progress. Though the Brutii won against a very famous battle against these guys. But... So far, no report. Ah, yes. Um, what was I sending you to? I was sending you somewhere. I'm going to head you over towards Macedonia. So that way people can not be so annoyed. Um, Pavatium, you're at a very high tax rate and everything. So. Let's have a look see. Ah, yes, my general can move now, which is fantastic. But I'm going to send my assassin first. Just to be word. safe. On my word. Hello. Right, Action, there's my spy. I'm going to send him up north on just to make way. sure. Imperator. And I'm going to move him up that way. And I'm going to move my Imperator. general this way. Huzzah! Out of move, sir. Cool. Awesome. Right, okay. Safe turn. This is very interesting, actually, because we're actually we're branching out a fair amount. I mean, we've got Illyria, which, over the course of forever, has ac oh, actually, we can have it at seventy-five percent. Where could I not have it at seventy-five percent? I know it was somewhere around here. God damn it! I had it. Ooh, minor city. Ah, yes. I will. Re I will train up suggested to have a better walls because then that way we can do it. Oh, I knew it was something. Is it Carthage? I think it was Carthage. Yes, it was Carthage. Right, okay. <laughs> Pardon me. Sorted. Right. God, it's weird, isn't it? You, you're supposed to, you're trying to control a nation and, and you know, you'd think you'd have a lot of cash and then all of a sudden, bang, you're broke. Which isn't so good. So the ha of my spy going down south to investigate more of the Gorlic lands. I will probably have to go talk to him. And there is a Triarii army unit heading towards Medalonium. And... Oh shit. We got another two Gorlic armies attempting to attack. So we are outnumbered. Uh, one of them being commanded by him. And the other being commanded by them, which I think are the remnants of that army that attempted to attack me previously, but lost both of their commanders to. Once again, I am on the defensive, but this time, instead of um, instead of exterminating the Gorlic, this Gorlic camp, because we've already technically captured it, and technically, I didn't make the pledge, so this is technically still Roman. Other places, maybe not so much, but we'll have to fight it on the fields now. This is going to be quite a bold statement. I mean, hell, the enemy armies are going to be here. If I could have a better, strong, stronger army, that would be even better. Oh, on my bollocks. Body many great scars, honorably earned in battle. I have fought many a foe in open combat. I come to fight today. Who stands with me? All those guys now move. Ooh. Oh, 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 this looks like an artillery position almost. You know in Empire Total War, you have those battles. Oh, you do, you do. Hang on. Right, I'm going to take full advantage of this then. Right, there is one unit. There is another. I don't think if you interlock units, you can actually have casualties. I'll have to find out the hard way, I suppose. I always love this bit of music. Um, if you can hear it in the background. All 
count you as Zane. I always love this bit of music because it kind of it feels like it's like the it's the calm before the storm, the sort of the oncoming the battle. Will be busy today. Right. The enemy have brought more men to the fight. Right. Okay. So we need to protect this crevasse by um, deploying our infantry as such. Kind of where the um, other guys will be occupying. These gladiators are just currently standing there. They've taken, they've probably fought a lot of battles, but probably not as many as I. they probably should have done, I don't know. That said, this natural defensive curd. This is kind of where I wish I had siege equipment, like catapults. This is like the most perfect area for a couple of catapults. Or a ballista, of anything. Um, so what am I facing? I am currently facing Gorlic Tribe, Gorlic Tribe, Gorlic Tribe, Gorlic Tribe. Gorlic tribe with spears that throw the throwing spears and I've got an actual commanding general. Over in the background, however, the enemy have also brought in Gorlic cavalry and what looks to be a remnant source of a previous assault. So it's interesting. I definitely will say it's interesting. Whether or not we can actually beat back these Gorlic people and eventually, I don't know if we can do it in this video series. I'm pretty sure we will. Or at least, we'll annihilate as many of the air positions as possible. Like, my ultimate goal before Rome 2 comes out is to be... is for um, us to... Please say that's Triari. No! That's a tri oh, right to the slap bang middle as well. Oh well. Um, I was just going to say, if it's... I was really hoping that... Um, I'm hoping that I can actually clear out the... Gallic tribes in France, or at least take over France. I was kind of, I started out with these broad objectives like, we're going to take over France, Spain, and Africa, and then I realized just how close the Rome 2 release date was, and now I'm like, you know what, let's just take France. Let's just, just take France and just pretend that all the historical stuff happens there. Because I'm definitely going to try and make a Rome series in um, the form of Rome 2, which is really cool. I'll probably come up with some kind of special thing or whatever, but in the meantime, Rome. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut recording, and then when um, the army gets closer, then I'll um, I'll start recording again. Okay, um, the enemy army decided to do a bit of running, so I'm assuming that they're planning something, but I don't know. They were moving towards my men on the left-hand flank, so I was assuming something dumb was going to be done by them. Where are my Triarii? Nope. 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 Where's the house Triarii? Because I know it's five units there. Starty. Starty. Start. Where? One. Oh, these guys are all completely built up. Where's the Triarii? Where's the other Triarii? Oh, we got four Triarii. Right, okay, cock up on my part. That side doesn't have any kind of cavalry defense. Shit! Okay, um, reform. Actually, no. No, sorry, we've made our decision. We've got to commit to it. Now you're ever so slightly out of line. Right, okay, they're going to have to make do without any kind of cavalry support. It would appear to be that the enemy are completely forget foregoing our defensive line, so I'm going to move my men that way. So now they're moving into line, and I'm just going to be putting my cavalry along a left-hand flank. So, oh, hello, his general is now completely open. I am taking the chance. They're not, they're getting closer. I don't know what it is, but these guys are either they're either charging and they're not actually bothering. Right, our men are in position. Flame arrow slingers move into position along that line, double pace. You guys, swamp that general bastard. 
you guys. Los, los, los. Oh shit, they are they are really close. It won't be too long before my Hestati decide to start throwing spears at them. Yeah, they're closing in. Right, let's, let's bring the fire to them. What are you doing here? Right. Archers! Focus on that warband. You guys! Pin the... Triorii! Yes! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Infantry! Everybody! On that general! Get him! Archers! Focus on... Goal warrior band. You guys! General! Get the fuck out of dodge and move! Right, we've got them. Where is my general? He is there. Good. He is out of range of any kind of infantry. Who are those guys? Please say that my equite half shit. Yes, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Catch that little bastard. The enemy I'm army out. is in Got it! Great gods be praised! The enemy general is killed! Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts! Right, Equite. Start kicking ass, taking names, and signing autographs. Infantry anyone who is still alive reform aggressively towards defending that perimeter. You guys uh, the skirmisher, you guys right Run. Put my cavalry general in a, in a bad position, didn't I? Right. Reform. We've knocked out their heavy general. This is great. I, I couldn't catch one general. Now all of a sudden I'm knocking them left and right. Right. Regroup. Right. We've knocked out one army, which is absolutely fabulous, and we've completely killed the throne. There you go. Wurtorix of Valinorum. These guys are going to be very tired. The two Triarii, I will form you guys accordingly. You, right hand side. Yes, that's right. Sorry, that side. <laughs> you guys. You guys. Reform and take cover. Mercenaries just look like a badass and run over here. How are you guys doing? You're all winded. Okay. You guys are winded. To you guys are fresh. Oh, actually fresh. Archers are warmed up. And there is... And only two units of cavalry. One guy in the background is like, Hey, wait! It's possible that the enemy will consider retreating. But... Let's invite them to it. I freaking knew it. Cowardly scumbags. <laughs> Just as I was saying, yo, I think we might need to press the attack. They're like, oh shit, run away. Right. They're withdrawing as well. What are the weakest units? It's like being a predator of the ocean. It's being a bit like a lion. There you go, swordsman. Go get a... I know we're winded. Technically, they're just winded as well, but cowards. I mean, theoretically speaking, I could lose this battle. I could let them get away, but I, I want to nick at the enemy army at least. What to say about here? The Equite charging into the battle. I wish I could have better cavalry in all fairness. Like, not just Equites. Back away from them, lot. Jesus Christ. Fine, get away. You can get away. Get away. Azen, go. Run away. What are you doing? Get out of there.
integrate, integrate, integrate. Make him stop, make him stop. Got him! Now my Romano dudes are like, yeah, now get to get away with so easy. Aha! Nullified charge. Catch him. I just thought you guys could actually catch him. 